Adam's a smart girl, a strong girl, a pretty girl. What's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Audrey and I am a special needs mom to Autumn who has Down syndrome and autism. And I'm also a fit mom. So if you're into that sort of thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So I had a few requests to do a morning routine and a night routine, like an updated one. I did show you guys a morning routine that was updated. And if you haven't checked out that video, make sure you go back and look at that video. And today I will be sharing with you a night routine. So stay tuned for that. Bath time, let's go. Say bathy bath time. She's like, where are we going? Oh, I finished my workout, Autumn. I finished my workout. What you waiting for, girl? You watching something on your iPad? You're silly. Daddy's getting all your stuff together. Oh, did you grab the pack, the new pack? Oh, okay. But aren't you supposed to start on Sunday? Oh, well, it's whatever. I just hope it doesn't mess up for her next pack. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. You gonna take all your peels, girl? Just ordered your pills for the weekend. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Is that her birth control? Yeah, and her birth control. Oh, she takes them both together? Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't know that. When I do it, I do it separate, and not like it matters, but. You said you had a good day today, right? You gotta brush those teethers real good, Autumn. She's always so good for you. She's like, daddy means business. So I'm gonna show you guys what we give Autumn every night at bedtime. She gets the multivitamins. She gets melatonin to help her stay asleep. She gets the Benadryl to help her fall asleep. And we also use this on her face, especially during the fall and the winter. She gets very dry skin on her face and this helps so much. She recently just started the birth control. So this is a new medication. She's been on it almost two months now. I actually think this is the third pack. So maybe she's been on it two full months. So you guys can see. So far, so good. We've been having some side effects from the birth control, but she's doing good. I wanted to show you guys the medication she's using for her feet. We recently took her to the podiatrist and she does have a toenail fungus, which is very, very hard to get rid of. And so this is what we've been applying on her nails to help with that. And we're hoping it'll clear up, but the podiatrist isn't very hopeful. She says it might not clear up like we hope, but we're going to keep trying and we're going to keep using it. And this is for the um, athlete's foot that she has on her right foot. It coincides with the toenail fungus. I guess sometimes you can get athlete's foot along with the toe fungus. Luckily, the athlete's foot is starting to look a little bit better. So we're really happy that this is actually working. Right? Your feet cream. <laughs> I hope it clears up, man. The athlete's foot does look a little better. But the stuff on her toe, not so much. She always wants to wipe it off like right after. At least she smells good. Good job, Autumn. Yeah, yeah. Almost done. Halfway there. You're doing. You're doing really good, Autumn. 
Squidward on chair. Hey, <laughs> blow. Yeah. Uh, uh, Blowing it. Blow. Okay. Uh, uh. I know. Mommy does shouldn't do I know, sorry. I won't talk. She doesn't like when I interject. All right, brush your hair now, okay? And then we're all done. Oh. <laughs> Adam's a smart girl, a strong girl, a pretty girl, a funny girl, and a silly girl, right? Yeah. And a billion other things. <laughs> How old are you? How, how old are you? Four. Teen. What's your name? Okay. What's your name? Okay. That's not your name. Your name is way prettier than that. What's your name? Autumn. Autumn. Okay, yeah, yeah. Tum. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. All right, what's next? Uh, who died? Oh, look at me in the face. One more time. Who died? Boop, boop, boop. Died. Can you tell mommy? You tell mommy. Tell mommy. Yeah. Oh, she wants too. to fix her own bed, she says. I was going to say to turn on the fan, but you read my mind. It's kind of warm tonight. She's got to fix her bed just the way she likes it, huh, Autumn? She's very particular about her bed. <laughs> Do you want your iPad? You want to give her her iPad? Yeah, I'll give her her iPad. Girlfriend, I got your... You want iPad? What do you say? Do you want a drink? Do you want juice? Or you want water? Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Do you want crystal light? Yeah. Okay, I'll get you crystal light. Okay. One more time, tell mommy. I love you too, baby girl. So dad is in charge of the night routine and I have gotten a lot of weird comments in the past about dad being in charge of the night routine, which I find really strange because he's her dad and he obviously does everything that I do with her too. So it's like, why are you guys worried? It's her dad. <laughs> there is nobody else in the world that I would trust more than my husband and me taking care of her. I wouldn't trust hardly anybody else to take care of her, to bathe her, to dress her, to get her ready for the day, and also to get her ready for bed. There's nobody else. So when dad gets off work, Dad knows he does the routine with Autumn and Autumn is very aware of how everything goes. She actually does way better for bedtime routine than she does for me. <laughs> she knows how dad does things and she likes the way it's done. Because when she learns something, she likes it the same each and every time. And we do try to break it up and we do try to change things to just to change it up so that she won't have as hard of a time. But she does so much better for dad than for me, especially for teeth brushing. As you guys saw in the video, we do do teeth brushing in the bathtub because it's just a little easier and it's not as messy. We do incorporate teeth brushing during behavioral therapy as well. We haven't done it for a while because we're working on new things like her laundry routine and other goals. So we haven't done it for a while, but we do also brush teeth during behavioral therapy, which is completely independent with very few prompts. But during bath time, we pretty much do hand over hand just to get it done fast. And during her therapy, we have her do it all independently and all the steps. Autumn is definitely a teenager and she's a lot like her big brother, Andy. She has behaviors just like him, and even though she's nonverbal and she can't really tell us things, she still has all the similar behaviors. She wants to be by herself in her room a lot of the time. She wants to be away from us. She doesn't want to be anywhere near us. Because when she was a lot younger, she wanted to be, to be around me all the time, and she wanted to be around dad all the time. Now she wants really nothing to do with us. And for us to get her out of her shell to do stuff with us is very difficult. <laughs> I joined TikTok in the hopes that I could get her to do dances with me all the time. And I've had a hard time getting her to cooperate to want to do it with me. I think it's just because she's a teenager and she doesn't really want to be around me and she doesn't want anything to do with me. And I'm hoping that she'll get over this. And every once in a while, I'll ask her, like, do you want to do a video with me? And she'll say, e, which means yes. And I'm happy and she's happy and we do have fun when we do them. I mentioned before that she has an appointment for a sleep study. 
and we will be getting that soon. And I told you guys I will be doing a vlog about that, so stay tuned for that. She also has an ophthalmology appointment coming up, which is an eye specialist to get her new glasses, and we're hoping and praying she keeps them on. She also has to get some blood tests done. Getting her blood taken is very stressful and very hard, and it causes her extreme anxiety and a lot of behaviors. A lot of people ask me questions about how she sleeps. She's actually been doing pretty good with sleep. She still wakes up in the night, I'd say three, three times a week or so. And she usually just goes on her iPad. She doesn't roam the house like she used to because she used to roam the house, turn on all the lights, go downstairs, try to get out of the backyard. And it just made us so nervous. Something else I mentioned in a TikTok video is about going out in the community without Autumn. It's been really hard because we all feel guilty leaving her behind. We all feel guilty leaving her with a caregiver. But we've realized that Autumn really, really struggles with open spaces, like big open spaces. Like she really struggles at baseball games. She really struggles at the movie theaters. And so we've decided that those two places we're gonna get a caregiver for her and we're gonna let her stay home because she feels more comfortable that way. And we actually have a lot more fun when we're not stressing out and worrying about her. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button, also subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Lots more videos to come, so stay tuned.